Hi everyone, uh, I'm back with a new tutorial for you. Uh, in this exercise file, we're going to uh, look at the stripper uh, plugin for Grasshopper. Um, this plugin actually uh, divides up mesh surfaces into strips of geometry that you can use for digital fabrication purposes. And I prepared this uh, short snippet. I actually covered um, uh, two portions of this larger script that we used to build uh, an installation project that I will cover in a forthcoming video. Um, and in this one, we are actually going to look at the third step um, that is going to focus on dividing any type of mesh geometry into strips that could be uh, used for digital fabrication. Um, so I have already built um, an example file here. Uh, let me show you the uh, mesh geometry. This is actually uh, let's look at it. It's actually um, made out of a tetrahedral uh, input geometry. You, you can see that the openings are a bit more triangulated. And um, we have this sort of uh, four-legged connection in the middle. And this one we can actually f uh, supply to the stripper function. The stripper is um, a plugin that I installed here that divides up this mesh into um, into strips, basically into uh, uh, into linear strips, and to do that, I'm using uh, a part of the plugin called uh, Topology Directions. So this is located under Extract, and you go to uh, Get Mesh Topology Directionals, and you can try different configurations here. So uh, it's actually enabling you to do a few Boolean operators, reordering the mesh directions and sorting the directions. So when you um, when you actually play around with these. Uh, you get um, two sets of data. You get the U directions, V directions, and the output mesh uh, structured into uh, these data sets. So if if I look at the V directions, for instance, they would run uh, parallel to the mesh surface, and the U directions run um, as in the form of rings. And this is quite useful because you can actually overlay these two sets of uh, strips to um, digitally fabricate them. Um, so um, this actually didn't take any, uh, make any much difference, uh, but the topology directions gives you the U and V directions, and then you can use the um, direction strips, which is also located under uh, the stripper function, and I think it's the strip uh, Y directionals, and this would actually, um, you would connect the mesh and the direction, in this case I'm extracting the U direction strips, and if you look at this uh, data, uh, let's look at the the one the u directional ones. Uh, it's kind of hard to see here, but basically um, I'm outputting it to into a mesh and then offsetting it, and I can preview it into uh, as white strips. So this would be uh, the output itself. Um, and let me see if I have some overlap. I think the default mesh is overlapping as well, and the white doesn't help to visualize this. So let me make it uh, maybe red. So you can see this is actually uh, stripped. And if you want to make uh, some gaps to read these strips a bit better, uh, you can also go to the Alter tab, and here you have the option to offset the mesh boundary edges. So I'll just connect one here, and I'll just show you a little uh, shortcut that I use. If you double click on this canvas and type in uh, minus one dot uh, zero dot dot um, one dot zero, uh, that will create a slider that um, has one decimal that will go from negative one to plus one and you can use this to offset the uh, the directional strips and if I input this now you can see this is actually going to create um, the offset function now the positive offset would actually make them overlap so what we want to do is create a smaller gap between them and that's basically showing you how the initial input surface is divided up into uh, strips now I'm going to do the same thing for the other direction and that will be actually a lot quicker to achieve so I'm just going to copy uh, this portion of the code and rather than looking at the U directions let's look at the V directions so I'll just get the V directions uh, and put that into the direction for the strip and we can also offset those uh, now you can see they're actually overlapping and let's um, create some offset as well. This is um, Weaverbird's mesh offset. You can also use some other uh, type of uh, mesh offset function so that we can create some gap between these two surfaces. And I'll make another custom preview here. 
uh, let's give this another type of color so let's make it uh, green or light blue and I'm just going to hide these uh, let's see if this would this would work let's see it's kind of previewing it in red still I'm going to offset it in the positive direction and let me see actually let's turn these off as well let's turn this off maybe disable it yeah I mean it is there it's somehow um, not previewing them simultaneously uh, let's see if I can fix it quickly um, let's flatten this out um, well this actually um, didn't pro preview it let me switch to another view I mean there you can see it so um, it wasn't showing it in the rendered mode but you can sh see it in the shaded mode so you can see this is the these are the strips running in the uh, V direction that runs parallel to the mesh and these are running in the U direction so um, these are running um, uh, perpendicular to the mesh surface and they kind of um, work together quite nicely and they complement each other so you can see that um, uh, with some tolerance we can actually build these uh, via flattening and I'm going to show you in the next video on how to actually unroll these or automate unrolling uh, mesh strips like this and use it to um, build a digital fabrication project so I hope um, this was helpful. Um, if you haven't already, please go check out the uh, stripper uh, plugin. It's quite helpful to um, to uh, work with mesh surfaces. And um, if you're also interested in this sort of parametric modeling, you can check out other videos on my channel. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And I would really appreciate if you um, hit the like button and uh, click on the subscribe and that helps uh, with the growth of the channel. Um, so I'll see you in another video and thanks for watching.